yeah, new stretch of water. A uh, little bit more flowy down here, not so much pockets and seams. Uh, still think our ULS kits are gonna be the shit here, really. It's um, just so versatile with these short heads and uh, the short rods and how easily you can pick up line, shoot far, no matter what's behind you. So what do you think, Jacob? What should we use uh, as far as lines goes? You have, uh, what do you have on? The multi-tip. Okay, you uh, should the ULS multi-tip, the floating head there? Floats yeah. and a 2-3 and a short leader. Yeah. Um, and it creates, it helps me out to be as quiet as possible as well. And I think that's so important when it comes to this sea trout fishing because down here is so calm pools and having a heavy line or a big rod and everything it's just this fear this helped me out to be so quiet yeah. and so gentle with the fishing and you can easily catch uh, really big fishes when it's really calm water but you need to be very quiet yeah it looks sick good when you're casting too i mean it's just so easy you i remember you said to me you know you really have to almost watch it because you're really lifting line out of the water so easily it's that you gotta easy. be so gentle with your back yeah. and then, then it just pops and flies it's too easy it's sometimes when i started a few casts with this so it's using too much power and it's just so you lift it up and you just shoot it away yeah straight yeah. away and uh, having a great time with this so i'm excited for this season to fish with this yeah, I'm a little bit differently rigged than you. I, I mean, I still use the same rod. We're both using seven weights, and uh, but I use the ULS 3D plus shooting head. So this is a full head. <clears throat> I don't have uh, loose tips for this one. So I, I actually used this one up in the pockets as well with the Sync 3 uh, tip and the floating body. And uh, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna bomb a little bit here. I, I have this uh, metal head, which is uh, really weighty. So I think I'm I'm gonna go behind you because I either catch fish or I spook the hell out of them. <laughs> but uh, the one thing that this will do together with the Sync 3 is it's definitely gonna go down. For sure. So um, I think I probably will be fishing a little bit deeper than you are, and uh, that's a good thing if we divide this and go behind each other. So I think you get off and get off to a good start and hit the water and I'll hang back here and come back in the water after you. It's so important to be versatile now and uh, weather is changing so much like yesterday, two days ago we had sunny skies, 30 degrees yeah. and now I'm sitting here almost freezing and... Yeah, just look at us. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need in the middle of the summer. Yeah. Uh, but we need to switch it up and try new stuff to see uh, if we can catch anything, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard conditions. It's not easy when the switches are so high. The temperature a few days ago were 19 degrees. Now it's 14. Yeah. So we switch it up quite a bit. Should be a good uh, should be a good temperature for the trout though, and good light. It's actually a little bit trouty tonight. It even is very trouty. Yeah. So, so we should be able to catch yeah, something. Definitely. Oh, I gotta go down. <laughs> 